Hello, I'd like to show you how to make a teddy bear mould. I've got sugar paste that I've coloured in grey, but teddy bears are all sorts of colours. They can be white, they can be brown, it's, it's entirely up to you. I'm also going to use, um, it's a chocolate mould, but silicone moulds work. This is a hard plastic one. And uh, I've got some corn flour. So I've put some corn flour just in a, a J cloth, just to give me a fine dusting of corn flour. So I'm going to just add the corn flour into all the nooks and crannies on the mould, give it a good covering, and then I'm going to turn it out and give it a tap. Just a gentle tap on the turn on the table. Okay. Now I've got my paste. I'm just going to work my paste. So it's nice and soft, it hasn't got any creases in it, any cracks. And a nice surface. I've also coloured it and I've got no streaks in the sugar paste. And then I'm going to push the paste into the mould. And I've got too much, but that's okay. You can see I'm just pushing it in. And it's important that you push it in so it gets into all those nooks and crannies. Using a palette knife, I'm holding the paste and I'm just taking off some of the excess sugar paste. That needs to go straight in the plastic bag and it will dry out. If it moves, don't worry, just um, push it back into place. And if a big chunk comes out, all you got to do is push the a little bit of sugar paste and repair it. So you can see I'm taking small amounts out at a time. I'm making sure that that is totally flat. So then need to do is just ease that that paste from the edge of the mould just so that it comes out a little bit easier. So I'm just trying to loosen the paste. And this might not work first time so don't panic if it doesn't. It might take you a few attempts to do it. What you then do is turn it over and give it a tap tapping the mould you might need you know a few taps before it comes out and you can see that it's starting to loosen and then just ease it out now if it has stuck don't to worry just pull that away just check it over if you've got any cracks on it you can smooth them out with your finger while it's still soft. And then this part, because this is actually, it's a mould for lollipops, for chocolate work, it's got a little bit of a groove there. So all I need to do is take that part off. Check around the edge, there's no rough parts, so that can be used. Now I've got um, a board, I've just put some flowers on, a little bit of water underneath so it will just hold. And here you can make it a little bit different, so you, you can give, do a bit of work on it to make it a little bit more individual. So I've got some white paste here. I can make a little paw. So where is um, put pad onto his paw? So I'm putting a little bit of water on there. Taking some paste, just a small amount. Roll it into a small sausage, and I can just use in the plastic bag. Place it in between the plastic bag, and I can just flatten that paw. Um, then placing it on. Now 
one for the other side into a little sausage in between the plastic For the ears, I could roll a ball, so a ball of paste, flatten it between the plastic, and then using a palette knife, cut it in half. A little bit of water can go in the ears. Uh, his nose would be nice to add, use a little bit of black sugar to it. I've got some black sugar paste. And I'm going to give him a tiny ball of paste for his nose. So I'm just bringing him to life. And two little round balls for his eyes. Really tiny. Okay. So I've made some flowers, and I've, the way I've made those is I've rolled out some paste, so different colours, and I've rolled it nice and thin. Then I've used a blossom cutter, put them out, place them on a piece of sponge, use the plunger to tag them out. And then the inside of the plunger, you can just press that down to cup them. I can put a little bit of, um, I can put one in, oh, I've got a little bit of a, an imperfection there, so I can place it there to hide it. Put it in his head. And then it's always nice to put the centre into these flowers. So a little tiny piece of green paste, I've put some water in, drop the ball of paste in, so I've got the centre of the flower. Now I've done a fl similar flowers all the way around here in different sizes. Um, I'd like to show you to make the leaf. So the way I did the leaf, a bit of green paste, and the, the size of the leaf will determine what, what flower it's next to. So if it's a small, I'll do it a little bit bigger so you can see it. But if it's a small flower, then I'll make a small leaf, a large flower, a larger leaf. So just make it into a teardrop. Spot of water where you want to put it. Um, use the pointed end of a Dresden tool. Pick it up with a Dresden tool. Place it on. And you can just pull the, the point out to make the leaf. Okay, thank you very much.